your guy eBay fight predictions in the building. I'm bored. Uh, I have nothing else to do. So I'm making a video called laughing at uh, Kyle and Lauren. I, I feel like I didn't get to really talk about his, his dumb ass <laughs> at UFC Paris. But um, this is going to be a little special video where I look back at some interesting tweets uh, that he made before fight week. And then obviously what happened during the fight where he got completely beat up. And, well, he didn't get beat up, but he got outclassed by Taylor, uh, Taylor Lapolis, uh, a Frenchman, a guy that he made fun of. So very, very interesting. But um, uh, so, yeah, let's talk about how we got here. Uh, I, you know, you know, I gave this kid a lot of props on my full card predictions, and I, I really regret that now. But let's talk about how we got here, man. So, Bilal Muhammad is how this all started. So, Bilal Muhammad, I, I think, even gave this kid props and followed him on Twitter. And this fucking... The, this dweeb that he calls Ma, uh, Bilal Muhammad... I don't like Bilal, y'all. I'm not a Bilal fan. But, Colin Lauren, you are not anywhere near to title contention like Bilal Muhammad so sit down buddy all right so <laughs> like, look at this he says I'm not gonna follow you back dweeb which w is truly what he is and then Bilal Muhammad responds by my mistake I thought you were Colin Wallace I, I didn't realize you're a nobody so in this point he should have been like you know what yeah I'm a nobody I haven't even made my debut yet I shouldn't probably be talking. So then he, he responds by, ha ha, uh, no sweat, big man. But I'd rather be a nobody uh, about to debut than a guy that who cried in a cage from a pope. Now, what he said might be true. And I might somewhat wholeheartedly agree with that. But Bal Muhammad will end his career being more well known than you, Mr. Lauren, and I don't care if I'm mispronouncing your name because you are a nobody, my guy. So, as much as you might think, oh, okay, this this can't get any worse. Then you got these dumb Irish fans thinking he's a somebody. This is something I found that said someone. Uh, thank God it, it didn't get too many views, but this motherfucker said Don Carlin beats Nakamura. I'm like, oh no, oh no, no, no. Easy. He didn't say just be. He said easy. Nakamura is winning debuts. There's a difference. We're not the same. Don't. I, I'm a, and I'm very high on my guy, Renew Nakamura. So put some respect on that cat's name. All right, he's not a loser. He doesn't lose in France to Taylor Lapolis. We're not the same. We beat our debuts. We win our debuts. You know, that's that's what I meant. But uh, man, this this guy Lauren, you think he'd get any worse? Then he, you know, I guess his fight kind of changes up a little bit, and he basically tells the people, "All right, some news is gonna drop soon here, people. Nothing changes. French MMA is shite." Like I said last night, I am built different. He likes to say that I'm built different. That's something I noticed. So then, so after he disrespected French MMA, he took it a step further. And this is him at the stare downs. And he fucking flips off, I guess, the whole French MMA crowd before his little stare off with Taylor Lapolis. So you're assuming, watching all this trash talk and all this stuff, this guy is a fucking barn burner. A good good striker knockout artist he's gonna knock out taylor lapolis but instead he tries to crotch sniff taylor lapolis and fails miserably and looks like a dummy and you know what a crowd and a wave of shut your fucking mouth came and you need to be humble came also and also a lot of fucking instant karma came and the number one guy that fucking responded was Bilal Muhammad and he said okay this little ugly gremlin sucks now I know why he was trying to get attention by talking instead of him being humble he still continued to talk and he said all right Bilal uh you lost your debut and got KO'd stiff in your third fight in the UFC a poor uh, performance uh, for me, no doubt, but in my debut on the prelims of a shit French <laughs> card, more people care than you right now. Colin, 
I will say this as a piece of advice, bro. That man is gonna fight for a title. Let's go. Let's 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 look back in five years. I'll give you five years, and let's see if you will be a number one contender for the 135 pound division, the most competitive division in MMA right now. Let's see if you can get there, buddy, because I do not think so. But I saved the the best for last. So MMA censored made a video saying, what do they all have in common? Hashtag UFC. This bum, Colin Lauren, responds to say, by saying, they all lose to me. And this picture has Peter Yan, Corey Sanhagen, Cody Garbrandt, and Al Jermaine Sterling. Brother, you will not even make the top 15. Nonetheless, fight these guys. Okay, sit down, be humble, and shut up. This is insane. Someone allowed him to say some this crazy on August of the 26th of the year 2023 that this man thinks he can beat Peter Yan, Corey Sanhagen, Cody Garbrandt, and Al Jermaine Sterling. I don't even like some of them cats, especially Aljo. But I do have enough respect to realize Taylor Lapolis owns you. Shut your fucking mouth and stay humble. And I will be laughing at you, brother. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. But this is me laughing at this complete schmuck, this complete clown, Colin Lauren. Uh, yeah. You would beat Cody Garbrandt? I don't even care if anyone thinks Cody Garbrandt is washed. Cody would smoke you. You fucking know nothing, do nothing, clown. All right, sit down, be humble. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you. And goodbye. Go follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Go check love that you. out. And, uh, hey, subscribe to eBay's Fight Prediction. Let's keep the eBay Fight Predictions nation growing.